today's Christmas Eve and every time around Christmas, Thanksgiving, those big holidays, I got a little homesick. So today I'm going to talk about the biggest holiday in China, the Chinese New Year, aka Lunar New Year, which some other countries are also celebrating this, this festival. This is the biggest festival in Chinese culture and people celebrate in basically two weeks. So a week before the holiday and sometimes even two weeks after because we have Latin festival as well, which is 15 days after the spring festival. So during that holidays, there's a lot of traditions that we have to follow. I remember when I was a kid, we have this strict calendar of today is say the little year, which is another small festival that um, we are supposed to clean out the house or we're supposed to put up the decorations. You can't be late to a certain date. So that is the to-do list for that day and you have to be done by that day. Otherwise, bad luck or um, you know, you can't get rich this year. Yeah. The every year, because it's a lunar new year, it follows a lunar calendar, so it's not a set date for each year. It falls between January 20s to February 20s, so any day throughout the year could be that. And um, some of you might know that uh, the Chinese culture, we have a zodiac um, animal for you. As you know, the 2019 is a year of pig, so 2020 is a year of rat. There's a whole graph, which I'll be showing here. Uh, depends on which year you were born, it's a different animal. You represent a different animal. Some animals, well, uh, we've given those animals some characteristics, personalities even. Um, if you're born here, it's a year of gold. So the year of gold is, the gold represents very, like, say, diligent or very kind. It's not too aggressive. It's, um, it doesn't represent all, consider how many people were born that year. So different people have different personality. It's just a way of saying you can check out which year um, of the animal you are. And the main Chinese New Year activities, um, I remember when I was a kid, we have um, the, the decorations. It's a huge thing because we have to put out the, um, New Year couplets, like along the door side, which normally some good wishes to your family. If you want to be healthy, who you run, if you want to wish your family or other your friends' family a very peaceful year. A very and the second thing is uh, we normally eat dinner with family. It's very similar to any uh, big holidays here, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, people, um, or Hanukkah for Jewish people. So um, it's it's all about family getting together. For the cleanup part, it's really like um, the New Year resolution. You want your New Year to start good. So potentially your whole year will be good or you'll be lucky the whole year. So cleaning up, it's definitely good. Like It's like a closure at the year end. You wanted to pay up your debt or talk to someone that you really wanted to talk to and it's year end. It's a good timing. A lot of silly rules that older generation will tell you it's bad luck to maybe get a haircut in a certain day that you can't really get a haircut. It's um, it's like Christmas. You don't want to get a haircut on the Christmas day because everything is closed. So basically, um, to kill your progress nation, you wanted to do something ahead of the holiday, which totally makes sense. The family dinner, wow, that's a big thing. Cause <laughs> I can show you some pictures of how Chinese people celebrate Chinese New Year by eating dinner together. That's a whole table of food that can potentially feed a whole village or something like that. So 20 dishes, 30, 40, like you name it. There's cold dishes, there's appetizers, there's main dishes. There's, and um, there's another good, uh, another big thing that we will uh, watch the Chinese New Year Gala with all the families. So that's a 
basically a, a, like a five hours, six hours entertainment. So everyone tuned in for either the singing part, dancing part, comics part, or whatever you name it. It's designed to target to different group of people so that everyone can enjoy a little bit. So when I was a kid, I was really excited for that because everything is so colorful and you know kids, they're attracted to different colors. Um, but as you grow up, there's like, let's put it that way, there's more there's more um, interesting things other than the galas. So send text messages um, or even we send each other like cool stickers or something like that or wishes. Um, WeChat, oh the fire war, it's fireworks, firecrackers. It's a huge thing that um, it's like 4th of July, everyone buy firecrackers and um, the sound of the firecrackers for the yeah, for the kids, the red envelope, it's just a big thing. It's the one time of the year kids will get spoiled by <coughs> their relatives, by their family, grandparents. They just just give red envelopes with the cash money in it, so kids can buy something. But uh, in my family, my parents just kind of hold the fa hold the money for me, for college fund, you know what I mean? Um, so I never get those cash. <laughs> it's a sad story. And I believe a lot of kids, um, they never get a hold of their money as well. Uh, which is a good thing, because you wanted to go to college, you, your parents will always save up, save up for you. People always take, say, two weeks, I would say normally, like, 10 days off um, around Chinese New Year because um, people might commute from one side of the country to the other side and the traffic during Spring Festival is well, just horrible. Okay, now I want to show you some uh, rent envelopes. So this is the one I got from the Forbidden City Museum and um, this is normally when you give um, when people get married, you want to. Uh, so, this little symbol here um, is the character that people would. Um, uh, that represents the newly wedded couple. It, it, has, it has two exact same character and they mirror each other. So, this means I love you, and the other one means I love you too. So, that is. they basically love each other. So, this is the kind of red envelope you wanted to give to someone when they get married. And this is, um, this character here means good luck or you have a prosperous, no, you have a, a very good year and all your luckiness. So people normally actually put it this way, like upside down for the character. You probably can't, like this is the this is the correct way, and this is the upside down way, which means your luckiness is here. So, Dao, this is a Fu, and this is Fu Dao, which means this Fu character is upside down, which means it's here. So, um, it's a good symbol that you put your Fu character um, intentionally upside down. So, which means you have a lot of luckiness in this entire year. And as you can see, this is our firecrackers on the top. So, we would put red envelope, you put money inside of your red envelope and give it to kids. Even um, only the older generation are still using this paper red envelope. A lot of time, people send each other money or cash um, through WeChat. So, you can... Um, we, you can pay a lot of things using WeChat. Last time I got home, I don't even need cash. It's like I have my phone and I pay everything um, using my WeChat. It's pretty convenient. And I remember when I was a kid. So normally it's the working class or um, the older generation give red envelopes to the kids. So you, you everyone would experience this awkward transition from when you were still a kid, you received red envelope and when you started to enter the workforce, you started to earn salaries and then suddenly, oops, 
you're not a kid anymore, you're supposed to send out red envelopes instead of being the receiving end. That's, um, yeah, it's a bittersweet, it's adulthood. Because so, sometimes you just gotta be an adult and send out your money, yep. <laughs> and the um, New Year wishes for Chinese people, it's very, um, I would say, one line focused or like single um, target focused. It's wish you get rich in the next year. So getting rich is a big thing around New Year. You wanted to set up the tone correct in the beginning of the year. So we would normally say Gong Xi Fa Tai, which means hope you get rich in the New Year. So next time when you're around in China during Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, you can say Gong Xi Fa Tai to your Chinese friend and they will say Gong Xi Fa Tai to you back, which means hope both of you get rich. Everyone get rich, get rich, get rich. I think for the little kids, the most exciting part besides receiving a red envelopes are the part that um, for the Chinese New Year uh, Eve, you're supposed to stay up really late, like they'll stay up, you can stay up the whole night if you want, basically just eating candies and stay up and bouncing around the house and um, that's every kid ever wanted to do. Um, yeah, we have um, bedtime as well, so it's um, for one day of the whole year that you have the uh, legit excuses to stay up the whole night. Like I mentioned, the Chinese New Year Eve, you would stay up the whole night and the second day or like second two days, you would um, you would visit your families in whether it's in the neighborhood or you commute to some other cities to visit your family, your relatives, your cousins, your uncles, your aunt, to kind of, um, it's a it's, it's family time. You, you wanted to spend some quality time with your family because it's been a year. Probably a lot of people, last time you saw them, it's last year's Chinese New Year. So you definitely wanted to catch up with um, how's it going in their lives or some other people got babies or you are, um, it, it's, a, it's a critical time to get dramas from everyone else to be uh, to gossiping or to judge other people's lives why you're not married or <laughs> why you don't have a boyfriend girlfriend or you're not with someone or um, this is a good time to find out how much they earn in the year yeah there's no privacy at all for your family and relatives at all yeah and um, what else people will judge you in their standards and um, I consider it's a cute thing because um, it's not they didn't mean to be very mean to you they just want you to be happy but they have their own standards of how define happy like define happiness for you so <laughs> be prepared for that if you are um, happen to be a family member or you married someone in China so yeah they, they, they know what's good for you you don't know so they have to tell you or um, they're helping you to find your own standards or um, they don't believe everyone have, has their own pace in their life stage so they think you are supposed to get a girlfriend or boyfriend this year then you're supposed to so if it's not then you know that's your new year resolution normally around chinese new year um, we would make New Year resolutions as well as you can tell Chinese people they consider the New Year starts at the Lunar New Year instead of January 1st so we would make a list of things you want to accomplish in the beginning of the year and um, start to slack a little <laughs> no. so it's like every single thing in the New Year's resolution some people can really achieve 9 out of 10 of the list some other people just um when it's february already valentine's already people forget about their um resolution already so this year as always i wanted to make our new year resolution list as well which i uh, intend to do in a separate video 
um, and um, all of those good informations about Chinese New Year. There's a website called China Highlights. They have a lot of very good information if you're interested in Chinese culture or you're planning for a trip to China. There's a lot of use useful information. It's not a sponsored video. I just happened to check out on this Chinese Highlights webpage and I found it's useful even for my own culture. A lot of times I don't know the um, traditions or I don't know the story behind that. I'll check this website. So um, yeah, check it out. I'll put it, the link um, in my, that wraps up this video. And if you have any questions about Chinese New Year, um, please leave a comment and I'll respond to you and or any ideas you wanted to see me record um, in the next few weeks please feel free to leave a comment and um, just a disclaimer here <laughs> all of the opinions um, are my own personal opinion so it doesn't represent the whole Chinese population or it doesn't represent anyone but myself Obviously, it doesn't represent any organization I work for. Another element for a huge element for the Chinese New Year is everywhere you can see red atoms. So like the shirt I'm wearing today, I would wear it in Chinese New Year. Um, and the red couple lights when we put alongside the door, those are red background as well. And the red envelope are red. And what else? The firecrackers, the packaging of firecrackers, they're red. So I guess Chinese people really like red color. Even our national flag is red with um, yellow stars on it. So I guess it's a symbol of um, passion. And the blood is red too. And um, our money is red. So everything is red. Test, 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 test. Get rich, get rich in the new year. Get rich, get rich.